<clears throat> okay, let's just go then. So I'm really excited. The reason I'm going live with this new uh, platform that we're trying to figure out. If you can hear me, <laughs> go ahead and uh, drop a comment. I'm excited because Pam Ellen LeBlanc is a very good friend of mine and I edited her book, the Reiki business book, which is excellent. But what we're talking about today is I'm going to look down here. This is better. She is going to be teaching classes on a little island off the coast of Maine. Now she's Canadian, but I want her to tell everybody about these classes that are coming up. She is the co-author of the animal Reiki training manuals. So as you know, probably I teach animal Reiki and uh, Pam is one of the founders of the course. She helped co-write the books and she's an animal communicator and owns a uh, a farm, a horse farm in Canada. She's does a podcast called Reiki from the farm. She just is a phenomenal person and does lots of wonderful things. So <laughs> I want everybody to know about these classes that she's going to be teaching. First of all, Pam, tell us what you're going to be doing in July. You know what? It's funny, Karen. I'll just try to put it in a bit of a nutshell. There's animal Reiki is such an incredible energy. And one of the things that it brought to my life, in addition to a lot of personal healing, it brought abundance in a most pronounced way. And it brought abundance in a way that allowed us to realize our dream of getting a little vacation home on Campobello Island. This is our favorite island. It's the home of Franklin Delano Roosevelt's summer place. So there's an international park on the island to, to him. But one of the things I've always liked about this island is that it goes through Maine. And I grew up in St. Stephen, so our Canadian American has always been very close for me. Um, and Campobello is in my home region in Charlotte County. And uh, you actually can get to Campobello either through a few ferries through Canada or you can drive through Maine to get there. And this island is so magical. It's just small, but there's beaches and coastline everywhere. But you can sometimes see whales right from the shore. And in fact, from this little vacation home, I'm, I... The, the morning that I went to send my book in, I saw my first porpoise from the living room. A porpoise is a type of a dolphin, for those of you who don't get that type of dolphin. And we saw a family of porpoises the other day, and seals, and loons, and it's also very close to where the puff go to stay. And we have a very rare bird called the razor bills. So this island is just so magical that when we had an opportunity to purchase our summer home there, my first thought was, I have to teach a Reiki class here. And I think just to back up a little, ever since we started creating the animal Reiki course back in 2018, we started working with the energy and working to bring it in. I think I've been just so drawn to the ocean and I actually think the ocean is asking for some help right now. Mm -hmm. um, and on this island, there's also a beautiful whale rescue group because there are so many whales that come up in the summertime to feed. So they come at the end of July and they're there through to mid September feeding and getting ready to go south and breed just building up their fat deposits and this sort of thing so we have rare bright whale, rare right whales i'm trying to say that without <laughs> we also have humpbacks finbacks and minkies and so minkies? there's yes we have i love that word i don't know what they are <laughs> They're a lovely whale, not as large or as flamboyant as the humpbacks or the finbacks, but they're just beautiful. And of course, there's seals and gray seals and harbor seals and porpoises. And 
it's not a couple of summers ago when we started looking for a place on the island just taking the ferry across we saw a minky whale right on the ferry dock like right beside the water and then a family of porpoises were jumping up out of the water in front of us and it's just this i don't know there's something magical about this island but i really want to share it with people so i've been guided to create a special reiki class there it will be Reiki level one and two will be a Saturday and Sunday, July 23rd and 24th, and it will be followed by a whale day that is included in the price of the class. And we're just about a two minute walk from our house is the gentleman will pick us up and we'll take, we'll have three hours out on the water, hoping to see whales and puffins and all of that. And there, of course, there's never a guarantee. But it, there is a pretty good likelihood of... I bet. <laughs> With the and then energy. They'll come. And then later that day, we'll have a master class go out on the water and then three a three-day animal Reiki master class. So I'm pretty excited to be able to offer that. Yeah. So it's the same class that I'm teaching. Of course, I would love for people to take my class, but... Yeah, for you, <laughs> and you're a good. I teacher. would, because you're gonna get the you're gonna get the class, but I'm not gonna take you to see whales and <laughs> porpoises and maybe puffins, and it's just a magical opportunity. And it's a wonderful uh, climate. Like in this, that's usually the time of year when most of us are trying to get out of the heat and. You'll want to bring a sweater and some warm clothes. Oh, We're going out on the It makes you want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go. And I will be going. I'm, I'm not going to be able to go this July, but I'm already making plans with Pam to go up there next summer because, and most of the people watching this, you probably live in the South because I come from Texas and Arkansas. Y'all, this is... This would be a great vacation. If you've got Reiki one and two, you can, you are eligible to take animal Reiki one and two. Absolutely. You may not be eligible for the master class, but you just need, oh, here's the other thing you could take. Oh, well, here's an idea. You could take Reiki one and two with me. I think you have enough time. And then, yeah. and then go up and take the animal Reiki immediately after you, there's no waiting period between no. Reiki two and animal Reiki one and two. So that's absolutely correct. And that would be amazing, Karen. And for anybody coming, if they're coming from the U S the closest airport is Bangor and it's about, it's still about a two and a half, three hour drive from Bangor. And you can oh, stay amazing. in the U S in Lubeck. You do need to have a valid passport to come through customs but the customs officers are great and it's not a it's a very small place there's only 850 some people that live on the island and so most of the customs officers if you say we're going to see that reiki lady <laughs> for a reiki class they're going to know who you're going <laughs> to see because <laughs> it's so small that's it's so just that's, that's a question someone might have are, is there are there accommodations available on the island? Would people there have are. There are. It'd be a great idea, though, to book them soon. There's accommodations on the island, but also we're only about a five-minute car ride to the town of Lubeck. And there's accommodations all around Lubeck as well. It's a very much of a seaside community. It's mm -hmm. just absolutely gorgeous. And so if you are interested at all in in just spending some time near the ocean our class is in view of the ocean and we're going to be sending some reiki to the ocean and the animals in the ocean as we're there and i was hoping that i could connect you as well with the whale rescue team but unfortunately they're actually going to be busy with the whales and so they can't commit to anything at that time because this is the time when whales get tangled in fishing nets 
and things like that. So they have to be very diligent. They'll also, they're also doing a lot of testing and that sort of thing. But one of the things I'll be doing is that a portion of your class fee is actually going to be donated to the whale rescue organization. That's so wonderful. Yeah, just to help them out. I'm so impressed by the work that they do. They really do, they work with all whales, but they really focus on the right whale, which is endangered right now. And it's, I don't know, it's, I'm so excited about this class. I am too. That's why I wanted to come live. I know you're busy, but I just wanted to share this with everyone. And I'm going to check really quickly. I apologize for my scrambling around. This is, it's a little new. Okay. I don't see any questions. You know how live goes. If you have any questions for Pam, just post them below yes. in the comments and we will get back to them and let you know. Pam, where can they go if they want to sign up for the class? If they want to head over to my website, just www.reikifromthefarm.com, they can, they can definitely sign up and there's a little bit more information. I link you to the Camp of Bello Tourism site there so that you can see a little more about accommodation. There's lots of cabins and small oh places to stay. So yeah, I would love to have you guys come join us That's from so the cool. South. It would be so wonderful to get a chance <laughs> to show you our island. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you, Pam, for sharing this with us. And I know that some people are going to be coming up there because what a wonderful opportunity. I don't, there's no one else. There's nowhere else in the world you can do that. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty special. It and is. actually our boat captain is called Captain Riddle. So there you go. <laughs> oh, does that not sound like an adventure? Go with people to find the minkies. Oh my gosh. Sounds a little Pirates of the Caribbean, but anyway, they do say that there are pilot tre pirate treasures up here as well. We're not that far from Oak Island. <laughs> cool. And I forgot to mention the highest tides in the world. We have the, not the highest waves, but the highest tides. They're 30 and 40 feet. Wow. Um, yeah. It's like the whole island disappears. <laughs> <laughs> a big part. It's pretty spectacular when when it's when the tide comes up and yeah. the tide goes down it's, it's incredible wow. all the you should see how tall the piers are because oh, I, I can't wait to come i will I, be coming to visit so i hope so i've got your room ready so guys if, if you missed anything or i forgot to ask anything just in and you forget what the website is and i'll probably post it in the comments as well but just contact me and i will put you in touch with pam thank you pam thank you so much karen Bye. Bye, everybody.